Hello, it's me, Aiden, the guy who reads stuff. Welcome back to Hidarashi Chapter 6. No, Tsumi. I don't remember the chapter, actually. It might be 6, though. <laughs> but I mean, it's the 6th arc. Tsumi Horoboshi. Oh, it's been a... It's been a really comfy day. <laughs> I've been, I've been, I'm like low T tired, but I'm, uh, I'm feeling good. I feel like my energy boosted up like around ten percent while starting, starting up the recording software. Um, even got a, a diet cola to uh, boost my energy a bit. Um, so yeah. President's Choice Diatola. First time trying it. It's extremely mild, but it's cheap, so it's dead. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah. Oh, first off, I just want to give a big thanks. Because we kind of hit an achievement off my, uh, off my list that I don't actually have, but it's in my head of milestones. I... One of my videos has hit 1,000 views. I don't know if it was today because I haven't, I don't really check <laughs> a lot. But within like the last month, I feel like it probably hit 1K views. It was the first video for Hidarashi, which made sense, right? It's it's the introductory video of a series. People are bound to check it out and see if they're interested in the series, interested in me as a reader. So. It's expected, but it's still really cool to see something with four digits on the channel, so I'm super happy about that. I don't really know how to celebrate it, but who knows? Maybe maybe something will come up if I if I think of anything. But yeah, just thanks. Thanks for checking out the video. Um, um But yeah, that's cool. Uh Next milestone is uh, 100 subs, I guess. I think that's the next. I mean, I do love the mini milestones of uh, and going by tens for subs, but I guess that's the next big one. It would be kind of uh, dope if we can hit that before the channel's birthday, but we'll see. No rush, slow and steady. Anyways, let's last chapter, though. <laughs> it was a pretty chill one. It was Rena talking about how she's going to dispose of the body. Then we got to school. Then we almost got a club activity. And then they all went to the dump. Then they went back to this first scene. So that's <laughs> so that's pretty good. Remember when I was like saying I don't really like these kind of scenes? And actually just recently in a Doki Doki video, someone was explaining to me why these scenes aren't that bad. Um, these scenes that kind of show a future scene to like... In my opinion, it, it takes away suspense and adds um, curiosity. But I've been I've been told very in a in, in a very detailed way of a uh, opposite opinion. So which you know, I don't think it's. I mean, I can see why it's right. I, obviously, it's just my taste as a consumer. <laughs> but but yeah, so. So yeah, it, it didn't turn out bad. I, I don't think anything will ever turn as bad as the uh, Umineko's sixth arc opening. It's actually the worst thing ever. <laughs> but, but, yeah. So we're back in the present. I don't know if we're gonna keep going back and forth between Keiichi and Renovision now, but maybe. Also, I just find it super funny. <laughs> it's kind of super funny, like, just basically Rena. Rena has been like sharing her. S I think, I think this is how I th I'm gonna take the perspective. It's like Ren is telling the story, and we're actually in the perspective of Keiichi. That's why we see his perspective, and then it switches to Rena's story just to like fill in the blanks. I guess. I think that's how it works. So, yeah, I just kind of find it funny. But look at this bow. It's a cool CG. It low key makes me happy that we used the stuffed one at the beginning. But, like, can you imagine, like, someone just telling this, Rena just telling the story and, like, bowing like that? It's, like, it's, it's so anime, but that's all right. It's all right. I can use it as a thumbnail now. But, 
Well, let's get started. Can we replay that? Nope. We're gonna finish making her confession. How? Oh, I forgot to make my predictions. Guess we're gonna have a group effort covering up the murder, maybe? Maybe some people. Satoko was the one that seemed kind of hesitant, right? Um, while the others, Mian looks kind of uh, forgiving or like giving her a chance. Rika was zoning out. And Keiichi, I forgot what Keiichi was doing. But yeah, anyways, let's let's see what happens. Are we gonna be united or are we going to... Or is this going to cause us some chaoticness in the club? I mean, it should. It, it really should. <laughs> if everyone's just accepting of it. Even though, like, obviously, you can definitely sympathize with her. But, um, you know, killing and chopping up bodies is... It definitely should, uh... It should do something for you to not fully, uh... Fully be fine with this. But we'll see. I feel like Heichi and Mian will be fine. I don't know about Rita or Satoko. But yeah, let's go. Rena finished making her confession. There's no applause or curtain call. Yo, curtain call. Are we gonna get it? Or is it gonna be another author's note? I don't mind either, by the way. It was a quiet and lonely stage that Rena performed on alone. I think I'd forgotten to blame since her confession started. Everybody else seemed to be feeling that the same way. So yeah, obviously we also time skip. We didn't see them finding Rena. <laughs> it would have been awkward if they were like seeing her like pack body parts. But yeah. Rena looked at us. Like she was a teacher waiting for questions from her students. We noticed that she was imitating what Chia Sensei does at the end of class and we all smiled bitterly. Mm. <laughs> hey, Rena, you don't need to laugh for this. It makes it kind of creepy. <laughs><笑>自分の家の庭に埋める方がむしろ安心じゃないかななんて考えたりもしたっけ。でもそれじゃやっぱり危ないよね。yeah, imagine, imagine when his dad just digging up and then he finds, like, Rina's head. <laughs> oh, this smashed, I believe, but still. Better. Pretty spooky. The dedication. I felt like I did something very bad. Rana's plan was doing smoothly. If only I had hunted for a Majant house instead of insisted on doing something else, this wouldn't have happened. When I looked at the others, they all seemed to be regretting their actions too. If Mion hadn't come up with the idea to play at the garbage dump, if Satoko hadn't found the broken refrigerator, uh, if Rita-chan had convinced us not to go, Rena could have had a few more days, and she could have gotten rid of these trash beds. They never would have been found. Then what would have happened next? Nothing. Everything would have, would have remained the same. We could have kept the having happy and peaceful days. Rena had been through a, a hard time, but she's been forcing her face into a smile for us. The fate smile was supposed to become a real smile one day. None of us were supposed to notice that Rena was going through a hard time. After a while, Rena was supposed to be able to forget the bitter memory of killing these two, and she was supposed to live as if nothing had happened. But now all of her effort, all of her courage, had been ruined. Hmm. <laughs> That's an amazing way to put it, Keiichi. Uh, well, <clears throat> maybe there won't be any chaotic n discord in the club members of Keiichi is this accepting. <laughs> Jesus. Jim blaming, blaming yourselves for finding out that Rena killed someone. I don't know. 
I know. They're kids. It's a kid thing. I'll accept it. And low key, I, I feel like killing Tepe was probably worse than killing Rina because Tepe wasn't going to. I mean, Tepe was going to try ruining their family life, but if. If Rina like never showed up, then maybe he would just leave them alone eventually. I don't think Tepe was planning on killing Rena or anything, so yeah. But it's okay. Ah, again, I'm not sad about Tepe dying. I wonder. I wonder if uh, I didn't. I didn't even think about it. But does like Satoko or and or Rika? Did they see the body parts? Did they know about Tepe? I mean, they gotta know about Tepe. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I just, yeah, they were listening to the story, so. I'm pretty sure Rena, and at least Keiichi doesn't know who Tepe is, or, yeah. Or it, it could just be another Tepe, because they don't know his last name. But, oh, that's, that's kind of spicy. So Satoko knows, I believe. Hmm, interesting. Rita probably knows, too, because Rita knows everything. What does she want? Uh, I see. むしろ私を褒めてほしいくらい。叩いてほしいくらい。リュウグウレナは自らの運命と戦った。そして打ち勝った。はあ。Low key. I'm actually not feeling it. <laughs> uh, but I understand. Again, I I I I'm totally fine. It's just the speech isn't uh it isn't giving me the energy. I've seen other epic speeches. But I mean, I agree, I agree. It's like, if you're suffering, and people are like, oh, just go with the flow or try your best, and it's like, oh, well, what if the only way to get out of this is to uh, is to kill someone? Um, I don't know if we should praise, praise you for what you did, but I don't, I don't necessarily blame you. <laughs> I don't know why I did it, but I interrupted her. I shouldn't have. But I thought I needed to tell her this, so I did. Well, you got Kichi. True. I, I've said this. At least me on. What is this sound? Keiichi literally, uh, Keiichi literally learned this, uh, has adopted this, uh, definition of friends, like, what, a day ago? Like, two days ago? Whenever? <laughs> and he's already applying it. Hard applying it. I don't hate it. I like that. I like the assertiveness, Keiichi. Hmm. It's also pretty interesting because we feel like Keiichi's been in similar situations. Like, the situation's not the bad story and stuff. But, uh, but I guess the difference is uh, Keiichi thought his friends were going to kill him. Not. I guess in Tatar Doroshi, I feel like probably would have been his best chance to ask for help or something. I don't know. These are some loud trains as my windows open because air comes off and I'm still. And it's still autumn, right? I think I'm naturally more, uh. More of a. Like, I, I, I feel heat more than I feel cold. What Renatotus made me sad. 
I couldn't help myself from saying that to her. Rena told us straight that she did her the best she could. She told us that right to our faces. That's the same thing as saying that. She didn't need us. In order to do the best she could. Even though this is this is new, new, new definition of friendship for Keiji, I, 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 it's a pretty true statement from an outsider's perspective. Ooh, hit her, hit her with her own line, huh? Yo, Tichi's spicing this up. All right, let's go, Tichi. Let's get some pushback. My shout seemed to scare her a little. I knew that Rena didn't believe this was the best possible fu future. She just didn't have any other choice. If she had other choices, she definitely wouldn't have chosen this one. Bro. I'm vibing with Keiji, bro. This is reminding me of a uh, Wada Keiji when he's about to get tortured. It's a high, high, high energy Keiji right here. In fact, I didn't see any tears in her eyes or on her face at all. But that didn't mean she wasn't crying. Rena was crying. She was crying because she was driven into a corner after all the hard work she did to become happy. Her tears looked so sad. Anyone who couldn't see those tears wasn't really thinking about her. I mean, I'm just okay, Keiji. No need for the call outs, okay? I'm just. I'm just. I'm just thinking, bro. <laughs> Rowan, doesn't this remind you of the water Nadash? Water Nadash you seen with Mion? It's like the exact same thing and then she's I d I don't know if she's gonna laugh into cry, but that's the vibe that I'm getting right now. <sighs> Rena stopped laughing all of a sudden and she spoke with a cold expression on her face. You get me on with the hookup, or we ask Rita to uh to curse him with Oyashiro Sama, or even I'm sure Satoko has a has an actual lethal trap in her back pocket. Actually, I do remember, doesn't, I remember she, didn't she have, like, a trap in the forest that had, like, spikes that, like, would infect you or something? I re <laughs> I forgot, that was in Totoro Roshi, but I remember that. You got some powerful friends. Keiichi, he's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> he's cool. He killed some peeps. Baseball efficiency. Baseball bad efficiency. Rena had never talked to me like this before. It was as if she was mocking my ignorance that made me shut my mouth. And that made me shut my mouth. Uh oh. Oh, well. Actually, Shion's not here, so it's alright. 
I whenever you whenever you feel the name Satoshi pops up, you know I got I gotta take a double take, just in case there's an lurking Shion around. So, you know, everyone's saying Satoshi did it. And he probably did do it, but it's it, it just it just it's the it's the reaction and it's like what if he didn't do it? There wasn't any evidence anyways of him doing it. <laughs> he just didn't have an alibi and he had a strong motive and he disappeared. But no one knows why he disappeared. You know, what if my Satoshi, what if my boy Satoshi didn't do it, and everyone's, everyone's using, using, the idea that he did it as a, as either a motive for something or, or like putting it into the equation when it's, I I, I mean I still think he did it for sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm one of those people, but you know you never know. Satoko gasped. Bad vibes. I know that he's Satoko's older brother. He's been missing, but his people say he transferred. There's a rumor that he killed his aunt for Satoko's sake. Therefore, it's been taboo to talk about Satoshi in my class, actually, in all of Hinomizawa. Mm -hmm. A similar scenario. Not 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 the love triangle thing, but hmm. But I feel like the circumstances of him killing could be a lot different. Because unlike uh unlike since we've been using the mastermind theory a bit. There's literally nobody to manipulate uh, Rena into doing anything while Keiichi, Shion, and uh, Satoshi had the chance to be manipulated. Because obviously no one manipulated Rena because this isn't the curse murders. The Mastermind's probably still planning to uh, for that in the future, so... Keiichi-kun if what I've heard is true, this is what happened. After Satoko lost her parents, her uncle and aunt got custody of her and her brother, but they were miserable people. It's interesting Keiichi knows this, because... It, it, again, it arts, different timelines, whatever you want to put it. I guess it's fine. It's just like, at this point, he like, how did he learn that? It's like, it was like a shock for him to know about that. And he didn't learn it at all. In Onotakashi, I think Oishi mentioned it. In Watanadashi, I don't think he learns it. In Tichirogoroshi, he knows it. It's interesting. Interesting there's differences in between those. After Satoko lost her parents, her uncle and aunt got custody, custody of her and her brother, but they were miserable people. Her aunt was especially cruel to Satoko. Satoshi was the kind of guy who wouldn't even hurt a fly. But his aunt probably was the only one whom he didn't have a problem killing. That's how terrible a person she was. <laughs> おばさんが全部。全部ね。もちろん、クラスの誰もが知っていた。it's spicy. それで結果はどうだった誰かがサトシ君を助けてくれたうん。誰も助けなかった。ミーちゃんは一番力があるくせに 
村のしがらみがどうとかよくわからない理由でケムに巻いて結局無責任な同情の言葉をかけて傷つけるだけだったへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへえへないよ I remember too that I remember you know what Rena I, I, I was in a similar situation in a tutorial to Roshi honestly I was getting mad at everybody else uh, <laughs> along with Teichi for not wanting to help uh, for helping uh, helping Satoko really because they just wanted to uh, to wait it out and not make it worse by accident or whatever and that's like I don't know it, it It's logical, but at the same time, it's just not.、Um, it's almost the coward's way out, it's kind of. Especially. especially you, gotta, you gotta think with me on, especially. I think she had. She could definitely have pulled a few strings. s p o o k e d Satoshi kun wa wakatte ta yo? Mi chan ga. 口ぶりだけは同情してるふりをしながらも全然助ける気がないことを分かってた。I don't know about that because he was still confused about the Mion and Shion situation. At least from what we know, we can only go back to what we've seen in Mayatashi, but he was generally confused. He didn't like the Sonozakis in general, but it seemed he was still, still on the low, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> だからサトシ君はね、途中からミーちゃんのことを嫌うようになったんだよ。That's true, it started, but then he forgave her. Probably because of Shion. 普段は仲間だとか友達だとか言っておきながら、結局は北条家をいじめるその崎家の一味でしかなかったってね。あ、私は別に。何も救わずに放置した。サトシ君の助けてほしい思いを同情という言葉で拒絶したんだそれがどれほどサトシ君を傷つけたか分かってるミアン tried to find to say something but failed to do so she bit her lip instead yeah I mean I, 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 I lowkey agree with Rena but I can also see Mion's point of view of Been so, so trained up by Oryu to the fact that she, when she is serious, she does act pretty creepy despite her not actually being a creepy person, as we've seen.、Um, but yeah, frustration is, is fine. Mian can take a few hits.、Um, and then Rena is. How'd you save it? <laughs> You're going off on Rika, though. That's a little spice. Now, Rena was pointing her fingers at Rika. Hey, Rena, you, you go off, but if you somehow start blaming Satoko, that's,、uh, that's gonna be a no for me. I don't think you can convince me at all at blaming Satoko, despite you doing a pretty good job at, at Mion. Saying this as a Mion fan. Unlike Mion, Rika Chan looked emotionless and empty just like Rena did. リカちゃんは確かにミーちゃんに比べたらその発言力はビビたるものかもしれない。I hope I feel like no one will, but I, I want to see why、uh, why Rena didn't help Satoshi. That's a good clap back, and I want to see her answer because she probably did. This well, we know she. <laughs> the only thing we know that Rena did with Satoshi is from Shion's point of view, which was her telling him about Oyasho Sama's curse and how he was. He was in danger of being cursed or something, which probably didn't help at all. But, in the end, the people who are in the world are in the world. They 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 are in the 
リカちゃんも結局はみーちゃんと同じ哀れみの表情を浮かべて小娘を装っただけだった聡くんや聡子ちゃんを慰めるだけその根本原因に対して何の手も差し伸べようとしなかったそんな無慈悲な哀れみがどれほど残酷だったか想像できる聡くんが欲しかったのは救いだった誰かに助けてほしかった自分の力だけではどうしても抜け出せない苦境だったから首まで沈もうとする沼の中で精一杯手を伸ばして誰かに掴んでもらうことを期待していたんだよそうねサトシたちを救う方法がわからなかったから慰めることしかしなかった。My mic was muted. How long was that muted? That's a little cringe. <laughs> Not long. It couldn't have been that long, right? Oh no. But yeah. What was I saying? I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we, we do not slap him back, okay? I'm gonna give her a twisted smile. That ugliness caused me to look away. No. Actually, hold up. I want. I want. I want to. Oh no. Because if I. Oh, I can't stop the recording. I don't want to. I don't want to put them through the editor. Hopefully, I didn't miss too much, guys. That's embarrassing. Actually, I'm gonna stop the recording. Whatever. Uh, hold on one second. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, yeah. Just a bit of the... Okay, it wasn't too bad. Good, good. Just a bit of the Rico part. It's fine. I, I don't even remember what I said now, so... Probably just... Okay, okay, Rena. Let's see what you say, because I remember... In my Itachi, I've been very, uh... Very defensive of actually blaming Satoko for this. At all. I mean, I can see the reason why, but... Let, let's see what Rena has. あなたに信じられるかわからないけれどあなたの罪はとても重い I didn't understand why she was blaming Satoko I tried to take her side but I gasped in surprise when I looked at her Yeah, yeah, I mean Fine <laughs> Yeah, it's the idea that she knew she was relying on Satoshi and using him as like a as a Bowie to stop herself from sinking, put more stress on his life. But honestly, it's just like, it's whatever. You really blame uh, uh, an emotionally, her childhood might even be rougher than Rena's being constantly like, I forgot if it's stepmothers or stepfathers, but uh, being constantly shifting through families after a divorce, I think. Um, and never getting along with anyone. It's like very similar circumstances, so I don't blame her at all, really, for uh, training now to be needy to like the one person who always treats her good. Because he's a nice guy. It's kind of, it was kind of a chain reaction. Don't bring out the dead eyed Satoko. It's supposed to be a good time without Tepe. She looked like she was accepting the sin that Rena had mentioned. I, I just want someone at the end of this to ask Rena to. Then we'll get the... We'll get everyone. Everyone needs this little jab, alright? Satoko must have wanted to confess her sin before Rena pointed it out to her. And so Satoko opened her mouth first. Satoko's 
そうなんだニーニーがいなくなってしまったあの夜に気づきましたのよそれをどうしてニーニーがいるうちに気づけなかったのかわかるよその気持ち後悔した時にはもう遅いというのは私も同じだったからだから私は同じことがもう一度起こったから今度は戦ったさとこちゃんのその罪はきっと将来あがなえるよその罪に気づけたならきっとね See, this is something I don't agree with. She doesn't need. I don't think she needs to atone for it. I think as long as she like, just gets rid of the habit, which she is actively trying for, which is kind of messing her up. It messed her up into Toragoroshi, but um, while while Rena is popping off and is seen very right, we need to remember that she's her mental state isn't really perfect either, and she has a twisted sense of uh. A twisted sense of what redemption, I guess, would be. How she thinks she's to blame for all that stuff, too. It's not, it's as, uh, as my good, as the commenter Val Hunter has said before, it's very unhealthy for her. And I still think she has an unhealthy mindset. And while it does seem like she's, like, <laughs> I think this whole conversation is actually really good. It's pretty therapeutic, you know? Talked about the Satoshi situation. Everyone says, you know, we could have done more for him, and we should have, but we didn't. Um, it's probably going to go to Rena after. I'd be very surprised it's not. It's all good. It's just that, like, Rena is seem it's being very painted. Like, Rena is, like, some, some, like, I don't know. It's, like, super divine being her, right? <laughs> I don't know. She's acting like, it's kind of like that. And I... I think the reason why I was like, at the beginning, I, I kind of wasn't feeling it was, uh, first off, it, it was just, it was the line that you guys should be praising me. You should celebrate that I did this and broke away from my unhappy fate. That, that actually, like, kind of sent tinkle, tingles up my spine. It was just so, so anime, so dramatic. I don't know. But, but as it went on, I was like, yeah, okay, this is a good conversation. But yeah, just just putting that out there. I don't think uh, I don't think I should be fully like, yes, Rena. I mean, I agree with a lot. I don't know. It's hard for me to say. Hopefully, you get it right. Like, Rena's saying a lot of the true facts, but at the same time, like because of her sort of warp sense of uh, sense of how things are, her like telling people this. Like, I I don't really think Satoko's thing or Rita's thing in general was that bad. Like, would it have really made a difference? Maybe, but I don't know. It's interesting. Satoko looked down sadly. Usually Satoko would say the opposite. She would say that Satoshi was coming back one day without a doubt. But now, she accepted the fate he would never return. She accepted it easily, as if she knew it already, because he's her brother. Ne? Yo, someone clap back! What did Rena do for Satoshi? She asked me all of a sudden. Well, maybe this just proved that we weren't as close as family like Mian and Keiichi said, and now that we've had this talk, we can move forward together and strengthen our bonds and help us through the tough times. How about that, Keiichi? I know you won't say that. You're probably going to be, like, stuck, but it's all right. That's what I would say. Did you really talk to Rita? <laughs> oh, man. Guess who gave him the help at the end? It was Oishi. Maybe. Or Irie. True, true. Wait, wait, okay, yeah. Rena did just move here. My bad. <laughs> Warp sense of uh, reality, huh? 
Ah, no. Choo, 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 choo. True. Still, still, I feel like a little bit. Ah, whatever. Maybe that wasn't a strong clapback. Good job for nobody saying it. That would have been a, been a quick counter with a. I just moved here, idiot. Damn it. She hit me with it. But you think. You think with such a small village and she lived here as a child, she would actually maybe know some of them? I don't know. I kind of assume that a bit, which is my fault. Satoshi-kun Run is burning bridges. We need some. We need a. We need to reinforce those bridges with concrete. Right now. Depends on the friendship level. You know, Keiichi's a good friend because he literally killed someone for Satoko. That's that's probably the maximum level of friendship you can get. だから私自分がサトシ君と同じ状況になったとした時私は仲間に打ち明けるのなんかやめようってねだってどうせ誰も助けてくれないし助けられないもの なら、同情なんて気が滅るだけなんだよ。せめて学校にいる間くらい楽しく過ごした方が気が紛れていいかもしれないもの。実際、みんなと楽しく過ごす学校の時間は楽しかったよ。とっても幸せだった。あの女た
go over here. Oh no, crying Rena. Now we have a decision. That's a chapter end? Ooh, don't do that to me. This target has been baiting me the whole time. Rena's self-derisive laughter changed into grievous sobs. Her tears gradually wore away at our relationship of trust. Nobody will help me. Friends are just people whom you have fun with. You can't trust them. The more Rena cried, the clearer we heard her voice in her heart. Mia and Satoko and Rita-chan looked into the distance with sad expressions on their faces. I was the only one who could say anything back to her now. I had to tell her this. And she knew it too. She just needed to hear it from someone. I braced myself to tell her something that might have might hurt everybody. What are you saying? <laughs> うん。こいつらが白状だったってことも分かったさ。でもよ。さどこだって言ったろ。こいつらはみんな自分の罪に気がついた。後悔した。だから今度は違うはずだ。True。今度は仲間の苦しみを真に理解し、助けてくれるは
But, for some reason, I could easily imagine a world like that. A world in which I saved my precious friends by committing an evil act. Hey, I mean it literally happened in Tartaroshi. I was there. I believe you, Teichi. The peace I seized by doing that evil deed didn't last long. It got worse. It ended in a way as terrible as this. Wait, what? I'm... For some reason, I could easily imagine a world like that. Oh yeah, true. I got confused. This was a memory that shouldn't exist. I don't know why. But I know for a fact that it happened in the world of possibility. Ooh. Wait. Um. Maybe. Maybe Keiichi's tasting this layered reality theory too. I'm just saying. Or it's uh. Actually, no, 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 no. That's some uh. That's some secret tech. I shouldn't say. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm. Why am I reading? For some weird reason, I couldn't prevent myself from smiling in embarrassment, even in a situation like this. でも、Look at her face morph. そうだ、そうだ、嘘だ。うん、だって見ちゃう。一つしかない。これしか方法がなかったと思い込むことだけじゃないか。それはつまり仲間に相談する価値がないって思うこと。仲間を一生否定し続けるってことだぞ。レナにとって、俺たちはその程度の存在だったのか。違うだろう。本当
例えば俺は仲間であるレナの今回のこの出来事を理解できる理解できるって人の命を奪うのは許されることじゃないっていう道徳的なことはもちろん理解しているでもそれを理解した上で仲間であるレナがこうするほかなかったことを理解する I mean, Keiichi has been morally consistent. He was ready to for forgive uh, Mion for, uh, or Shion, but technically Mion for killing Satoko and Rika and a bunch of other people. So, this is morally consistent Keiichi. He's just this kind of guy. I respect it, honestly. <laughs> Oh man. That's a great way to put it. You know, I understand why you did it. It's still bad, but I forgive you and I don't hate you for killing them. It's a great way to put it, Keiichi. Can we get a big group hug? I'm feeling in a big group hug mood. I said that to everybody this time. I said it to all my friends. Take a pat. Two be fair. I do think it was her last resort because Rena, Rena did try to kill her, but I mean, I, didn't she like learn about this ploy? And then didn't like Rena, didn't she kill like Rena like in a day or two? It wasn't like it was a while, uh, a large time gap, I think. Like it was literally in the course of a day or two of learning it, so I don't think she thought of every single thing, but maybe I'm just being a little bit of a bully right now. I'm sorry, Rena. I'm not trying to be a bully. <laughs> Friendship power. Join in. It was literally self defense and the, the collateral. collateral. <laughs> レナの罪がそこにいたるまでに俺たちに相談しなかったことをだけどそれを俺は許すだから今日に至ったその行為も俺は許すケイチだからリトルスポンスみんなもレナもケイチ、やばビッハイ。nobody <笑><笑> That being said, I wouldn't, I mean, I'm sure everyone's gonna come and forgive her, but I wouldn't blame somebody for saying, uh, no, I don't, I still don't like the idea you killed somebody. I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't be like, uh, what? It's, you know, it's so anime. <laughs> it's such an anime speech. All the good and all the bad for it. It's pretty great though. Can't lie about that. <laughs> the three of them slowly saying their names in intervals. Come on. <laughs><笑>俺たち全員が秘密にすればそれでおしまいだ。いやだ、何も気にすることはない。最初の予定通りにこの袋をどこかに隠しちまおうぜ。そして全員で塩でお清めでもして一丁上がりだそしたら俺たちは全ての罪を許し合おうそして取り戻そうぜ本当に平穏な日々をこれだろうレナが本当に選びたかった未来ってやつはこっちなんだろう最善の選択肢
I jumped on the hood of the abandoned car Rena was standing on and I reached for her hands. Dude, what is this? Oh my god. Just visualizing it in my head. It's too much. レナと俺たちが互いに手を差し伸べ合ってしか選べないんだ。つまり、俺だけが差し伸べても意味がないんだよ。俺だけじゃない。みんなが差し伸べる。だからレナ、お前も手を伸ばせ。それで互いに手を
仲間の大切さを語るのは部長である私の役目だと思ってただけにいやはや私も部長失格かなーなんて<笑>見ようごめんふざけたね This is some heavy friendship levels. It's overloading my heart. <laughs> Mion still smiled and scratched her head. Lena no Kyogu o Sashina Katakoto Nakamato Ste Bujoto Ste Hajirio Yurusta Hoshi Motiron Lena got us that in Sodan Shina Katakoto Mo Yurusio Sorewa.私が打ち明けるに足る存在じゃなかったってことだからね。私はリーダーであらねばと日々努力しているはずなのに、全然いたってなかった。その未熟さは私の責任。だからレナの罪を許す。レナ、join the friendship circle. What's your レナは人殺しだよ。人みんなに迷惑をかけるよ。レナ、私たちは。リカちゃん、もう余計なことは言わなくていい。俺たちは全員で手を重ねて差し伸べている。この事実にこれ以上上塗りする言葉は何も必要
True, literally. The situation we had, yo, isn't this like literally soft confirming the layered reality theory? Like literally soft theory, soft confirming it, huh? Or some kind of multi-dimensional theory. I mean, I low-key wasn't thinking that would like ever be confirmed, but maybe. It's, a, it's very soft, very soft confirmed. The situation we had here is the same as the incident in that faraway world, in the sense that people have been deprived of their lives in order to save one friend of mine. But other than that, it was different. We have Rena, Mian, Satoko, and Rita Chen, and myself. Nobody was missing. We were going to redeem them. We were going to redeem those happy and peaceful days. The road going there might be a little rough. But we'll walk it together. Oh man. We all will. The moon. That's a chapter end and a half. No way it's a bait. It was a bait! It was a bait! Oh man, it's getting so late though. Whatever. Let's keep going. <laughs> we went to the... We went to the place in the mountains of Yaguchi that Rena had pit for burying the beds. Carrying the corpse is, is a scary thing to do, but it made us united more strongly because of that. Since each part of the corpse is in a separate plastic trash bag, we can tell what's inside in each bag by touching it. Just, we never did get confirmation if Satoko knew that we, they killed her uncle. <laughs> I don't know, they never brought it up, so... <laughs> First, we forced ourselves to laugh whenever we had to touch the bodies because we were scared, but after a while, we got used to it to the point where we could make jokes about it. Of course, all of that was probably a bluff, but we tr all tried our best. Please don't. <laughs> Mian somehow had detailed knowledge of how to hide corpses and she told me to dig the hole deeper. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's expected. Nice wink. The team working hiding the bodies. Well, the, it went differently than I thought it would, but in the end, it is the team work, the club members joining together. <laughs> Rita Chen helped carry the beds. So Toto used her talents of setting traps to perfectly camouflage the place where we buried the beds. Me? I was in charge of digging the hole. We know Keiichi's good at digging them holes. Rana dug it earlier, but I made it a little deeper. After we finished all that, we walked back to the place where we parked our bicycles, and we looked back at the place where we buried the beds. Hey, I'm sorry, it's a, it's probably a good plan, but... Wild Oishi is going to be scouring the scenes. It was completely unnoticeable. We'd never be able to find the place again once we left for home. That's how perfect it looked. Train, it's like 1 a.m. Train, <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Oh, the crickets sound so nice in game. Why won't they come back to me? That's recording. I actually closed my window though, didn't expect it to be that bad. <laughs> Yay, Mian was said it cheerfully as if he just finished club activities or something. We had no more baits to carry, and we no longer had any burdens to carry either. We got on our bicycles, but Rena was still standing there looking into the distance. Oi, Rena. Huh? Oh, sorry. I got a little bit of heat, and I got a little bit of Rena's face looked slightly red. Mian touched Rena's forehead. It was actually a little warm. She had a tough day today. <laughs> yeah? She had to go through many things. She had to find a place to hide the corpses. She had to dig a hole. We caught her with the beds. We talked about our feelings. And we forgave each other. She must be exhausted after a day like that. Lena. 
今日は帰ったらゆっくり休めうんありがとうそうするねレナ私たちはもう全部許し合ったんだよだから自分を責めちゃダメだからね<笑>やっぱりみんなの言う通りだったよ何がだやっぱり私じっと自分の行為を美化したって私は心の中で恐ろしいことをしたとおびみんなに助けてもらってここまで来てこんななんだもんもしみんなと会わずに一人で全てを片付けていたら私は耐えきれず潰されてしまったかもしれない。She said all of this with a bitter smile. It might take her a long time for her to heal from the pain, but it must be a hundred times shorter than the time it would have taken if she did it this all alone. Bam bam. Rena's home was the closest from here. Rena went her way, and the four of us were left behind. See ya. Mia made a suggestion. No. Well, maybe, but I feel like everyone talking about all the bad stuff and stuff is is good. It's good vibes moving forward. But I guess like technically forgetting, but not forgetting about the sin absolution might be a good thing. I don't know. Sure, why not? I guess it's better. それが一番レナさんにとって優しいことになると思いますわレナは強い人です You know it's good vibes when you don't hear the Hidarashi but you hear crickets It's a sign of good luck 僕たちがそう振る舞えばレナもそう振る舞ってくれますですよ I feel uh Yeah it's good It's a good thing Keep keep what you said in your hearts but try to forget and act normal True. This is all great and all, but I, I can literally see an Oishi in the background revving his engine, ready to uh ready to solve some mysteries. <laughs> その日は一生かけて来るか来ないかを探ることになると思いますですそうかもしれませんわね簡単に忘れられることではありませんでしたよ仮に生涯忘れられなくてもいい大切なのは最後まで全員の胸にしまって秘めておくことなんじゃないかと思う We nodded in a dream and just as my house came into view. Jana, Mina, Shana, Asta, Matagakode. It's Mono Tori. It's Mono Tori. Oh no. It's such a jinx. <laughs> it's such a change. It probably will go normal for the first half of the next chapter. Then I'm telling you, a wild Oishi is going to appear. <laughs> no baiting this time. It's a bait. It's actually a bait. No. Oh. Okay, it's fine. We're committed, Bailey's. It's you're getting a special launch episode. <laughs> After I parted with them, I still felt hot and dizzy. Luckily, I started early. I s you're like eight, and it must be so late. I actually started at like eleven something. So, good, good decision. It felt really weird. I was even staring to the front door. I felt as if I was floating in the air, like I just took some very strong cold medicine. Yo, did someone inject her? Secret Rita, sneaky Rita. 
today something very shocking, something that made me super happy, and something very embarrassing happened to me. I felt as if my heart and my mind were about to explode because they were filled to the brim with both happiness and sadness. I don't know whether I made a crucial mistake today or if I had the happiest day of my life. I don't know which it is, and all I could do was stare blindly into space. I felt frustrated too. Even though they were my friends, I was taught in the act of abandoning the corpses. But at the same time, I felt relieved that my reliable friends accepted what I did. Those emotions were all mixed up in my heart, and they were all e- they were equally strong, making it difficult for me to decide what I was feeling. I was losing my sense of balance. It was like the world was warping around me. I heard sounds as if I was in a shower. Everything left me left me with the feeling of unreality. When those emotions were about to make me lose control, I felt a heat on my wrist. The part where Keiichi grabbed me earlier started throbbing. My feelings weren't cooperating with me, but the heat on my wrist calmed them down for me. I don't know how to express what I felt when my friends and I held shoulders together in a circle, but the feeling was the only thing I knew to be real. Oh, it's the dinner. Oh man, I thought my heart stopped. I thought Oishi was going to be there, but no, it's literally... It was, it was the dinner, dude. The music cue just, like, lifted my heart. As soon as I opened the front door, I smelled it. It smelled really good. My father isn't good at cooking, but he likes to try trying to cook creative dishes. I remember he used to cook something very challenging whenever he was in a good mood. So this smell was a sign that he felt that way. That's why I always liked this smell. Bam, bam. The reason he's in a good mood is because he found a job. And not just any job. He found a job with a company created by friends from his old workplace. Extremely lucky. They remembered my father and promised to hire him. He told me that some of the other colleagues from the old company are also working there. It must be very encouraging for him to work with people he knows because he hasn't worked for a long time. The dinner looked great, in contrast to how it tasted. <laughs> oh, oh well. It was a dinner to celebrate his new life, to show his determination to regain his bond with his daughter and to make a clean start. Man, everything's going so happy. <laughs> I talked about a lot of things with my father that night. It had been a long time since I last talked to him, talked with him like this. I don't remember when it was, but it reminded me of the days when I was still happy. Which meant that I'd finally returned to that time. My father still believes that Tepe is coming back one day, so he's still very cautious about locking the doors and windows, and he gets scared every time someone rings the doorbell. I told him so many times that they'd never come back, but I would, couldn't convince him because I couldn't tell him the reason why they won't. But eventually we re realized that he's free. I'm sure it won't take too long. My heart was full of many, many emotions that day. If emotions should actually burst a heart open, it might be, it might happen to me. My brain must have been overworked because of so many things happened at once. Bam. My head was still fuzzy, but I managed to crawl into bed. I felt like the ground was moving. I totally lost my sense of reality. It's not... <laughs> oh no. I remember that I once felt like this when I got the flu. I might get a high fever tomorrow, but I don't care. I don't care if I get sick tomorrow. I just wanted to enjoy the fact that I took a step forward towards the future of my decision. KG told me something like that today. The high fever and dizziness made me feel frustrated for some reason. But whenever I feel frustrated, I felt the heat on my wrist too. I grabbed my wrist with my left hand tightly. It made the frustration go away and it brought me relief. Even the dizziness I didn't like just before it made me feel like I was in a down-filled futon. Bam, 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 bam. I was feeling it, falling asleep in that down-filled futon on my first night in a new world. This dizziness didn't go away for a few days, but I gradually got used to it. That's... That does not seem, I mean, 
it's emotional stress, but that so many tells, bro, what I feel like I'm entering a new world, a new reality. It's layered realities. You think that would slip me? It didn't. This new world looked like the world I used to live in more. I'm I'm half trolling, by the way. It's, don't worry. <laughs> but the sunshine was a little bit brighter, and Chichi can smile looked a little bit more gentle than before. Ba -da 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 -da. We made more noise than we used to. We spent every day slowly, but in high spirits. Oh, what an idiot I am. I underestimated that dizziness and I caught a summer cold in June. I wanted to get better as soon as possible. Don't go to the clinic! Don't go to the clinic! No, it's a trap! <laughs> I should have taken a day off from club activities, but I forced myself to play with them every day, and that made it hard for me to get better. I finally learned my lesson recently. I don't need to feel frustrated. There's no limit to the happiness in this world. As long as we keep wishing for it, it'll continue forever. I don't need to feel frustrated anymore because tomorrow I will have the happiness I have today. Oops. Bam. We'll have the Watanagashi Festival next Sunday. Great. Michan tells us that we'll have a lot of fun and that we'll go extra crazy. I really can't wait. That. There's no way you're baiting me. Okay. God. Okay. That's a long one. I think I'll skip the hint for this session and just read it at the next one. Because I do want to talk about this this half letter from the forestry office. Forestry office. You're crying right now. Yo, that's a good title. Maybe. I like this. I think I think this is actually a really good chapter half. I know at the beginning I was a little wonky, and I'll explain. Um, the reasons I was wonky is one overall this was a little more dramatic than I'm used to in Hidrashi. I mean, I was. I mean, it, it is in a lot of points, and it really does feel good. But for some reason, it's just it kind of cringed me out. I don't know why. At the beginning, um, I think it was also because of how little pushback people were giving Rena. Um, just because it felt weird to me because she, she did murder people despite me not minding that she did. It felt a little weird for me. Um, also, I am like, I'm also a super immature person. <laughs> um, and I think, I think that's why I was a little cheesed at the lecturing thing because I personally hate getting lectured. So since I'm so invested in the story, seeing people get lectured one-sidedly also kind of cheesed me. I'll admit it, it, it showed in Totoroshi. It didn't nearly as sting as much, but I think this is great. I think one of the points to counter the point where people were more accepting was because they can, well, well I can relate to Rena's bad story. Everybody else in this club also has rough bad stories, so they're easier to, like, accept, accept Rena's sins and stuff. So I think it's actually, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Um, and, and while I was kind of just seeing the lecturing thing, I thought it was pretty good throwing those punches, um, very meaningful ones, um, just, and then Keiji pops off with his speech, dude, it's so good, it, it's, I'm not gonna lie, when he jumped on the car and held her hand, I was, I literally <laughs> cringed so hard, but everything after that was just, uh, it was so good. <laughs> Um, the friendship circle was actually beautiful. Uh, that was, that was, that's what I wanted. I wanted, like, all of the club members have these depressing bad stories. I did want them to eventually, like, uh, go back and talk about that. And we finally got it. So that's really cool. I was, uh, I felt some, my eyes watery. I didn't cry. Um, but it was really good. <laughs> There's something else I wanted to say. Now I'm, I'm actually forgetting. <laughs> um, hmm. Ma, ma, ma. Mm, I don't know. It was, yeah. I liked it. I liked it. Just in case you thought I didn't like it. Um... I really was gonna say something else, but now I don't remember it at all. Oh, the soft, the 
<laughs> the soft clearing the reality. So like, I'm thinking maybe maybe they're not layered. Maybe they're not like interacting with each other. Though it kind of seems it, it does. It is. I don't know how Keiichi would uh even know that, because I thought it was like more of a Rita thing. But I don't know. Seems like there are parallel universes. At least they're <laughs> referencing to to Keiichi directly reference to Tokoroshi, even though I thought they were just subtly doing it. Yeah. Also, I remember when 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 they, when you said different possibilities. I'm sorry. It's it's just too much. Uh, not to. Not to like think of. <laughs> It's it's the same with miracles, right? When I hear miracles, when I hear possibilities, it's just hard not to go to thinking about burn castle. But I'm not I'm not bringing it up. I'm just saying, maybe this is where a lot of her. Uh, I mean, it made sense where a lot of her. Um, a lot of her. Uh, what would you call it? Morals and stuff come from. Also, yeah, Keiichi's like it did. It was. Obviously, it was a lot bigger and more. It was different, but it felt a lot like like Keiji was being the same. Like he did the same thing with Mian, Sashian, whoever, forgiving, <laughs> forgiving her for killing a bunch of people, including his own friends, which was kind of insane to me. But morally consistent. Oh, you know what? The most cringy part for me was um. This is what I was trying to bring up, that I was kind of not vibing was like Rena's speech. It's like oh. You know what? I didn't do anything wrong. I had this horrible fate. I fought back for it. You should be applauding me. No, you should be celebrating the fact that I did this. It was like, it was like super villain cringe to me. Like, it it just it it depends on the context, right? Because I can see an evil person doing it in a movie, but it works with Rena, obviously. But I kind of I kind of liked it again. It's giving motivation to Rita to it because she's been convinced that she's gonna die, so she might fight against it. Um, it was a heavy, it's probably a heavy, um, a heavy, um, I mean, it is a heavy theme in this, right? Satoshi, if he did it, fought against his own fate, even if he didn't do it, he was fighting Keiichi constantly, Shion. It's especially a very heavy thing in the fighting against your fate in Uminato too, so. It, it's not that bad. For some reason, I was, I, I was, uh. A little bit dismissive. Maybe it was the general vibe going into this. I was a little, like I said, I was a comfy day. I wasn't prepared for an intense scene, but I thought it was very great at the end. So yeah, I'm gonna just cut it now. It's very late um, for the video. We'll just get to the tip, which is probably like only a minute or two long, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, very fun session. I thought it was very cool in, in general. <laughs> a little a little anime but you know once in a while once in a while it's a it's a unique spice that tastes pretty good but thank you for watching as always hope you enjoyed this episode and next time we'll see what happens i'm still thinking it's a wishy because everything's happy but no it's gonna be the watch Nadashi festival but a wishy's gonna come he's he's the mid boss i don't know if he's the real mastermind or whatever but he's a mid boss that we'll have to see so yeah thanks for watching and have a great day and see you soon bye